Hi, my name is Sahil. And I'm Tyler. So we are built for our EC4760 final project, uh, lap gloves. So these are basically uh, multimeter on hands and we can measure different uh, parameters like voltage, capacitance, resistance, tar testing, frequency, temperature using just like a bunch of fingers. So the idea here is then you just touch the circuit and get the information you need. Yes. Right. And, and the readout is on the glove, so you don't have to look away from the circuit. Okay, so we can switch that on. So we switch you on the power here. There you go. Have a nice backlit LED. And there's a lab gloves. Right. Right. Okay. And this is a capacity uh, touchpad. Once mm -hmm. you touch it, it changes the mode one by one. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So let's see that work. So that's your uh, capacitance mode. It's reading there is either overload or there's no capacitance. And on the first line, it says like which are the three different modes. Mm -hmm. Like so, the next one is resistance. The, the after that is direct testing, and the next one is transistor. Mm -hmm. So you can like Cycle switch it. Through. So there is no resistance. The next one is diode. So there, there is no diode or reverse biased. Then there's transistor. Then connectivity testing. Then it's voltage low testing. Voltage. That's a low voltage. Like it can give from zero to five. Mm -hmm. High voltage. voltage. Mm -hmm. There's frequency. frequency. There's no source. Temperature. It's temperature. It's on the middle finger. It's right here. 13C. That sounds yes. reasonable. Mm -hmm. So if I if I were to touch this, yeah. then it would. Oh, oh I probably go back to the temperature. So it just wraps around. Yep. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Yeah. So if I touch the sens temperature sensor here, then it's gonna increase it. Yeah, we yeah. could even use the solder gun. There we there go. It goes. Yeah. Yeah, we got a solder gun. We can just hover over it. Okay, well, it bounced up a degree when I was just touching it there. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so. So point to the other pieces up here. There's a microcontroller. Yeah. And there's some sort of instrumentation board yeah. there. So, so we've actually got two levels um, to sort of minimize the space that's required, so that way we can strap it to the the forearm without it like being a mm -hmm. wing. Um, what you see up here, we have uh, an analog DMUX. Um, that we're using to select different resistances for auto ranging resistance and capacitance, mm -hmm. um, and this is actually a protection, uh, uh, diode. yeah, diode oh, protection circuit yeah. that runs down to um, the ADC mm -hmm. um, on on, uh, on channel A yeah. um, okay. for the for the microcontroller, and we have some other uh, peripheral circuits down here. Yeah, uh, okay. you can see they're actually yeah, underneath a few of the, the resistors yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. potentiometers for, for calculating the yeah. capacitance okay. and exactly. production resistors. Yeah. Okay. So let's go one by one from first mode. Okay. So change let's, the board. Let's do it. So we'll do capacitance first. All right. So we are in capacitance mode. Okay. Oh, I see you have a whole bunch of test resistors, yeah. test, right. test devices yeah, here. Yeah, we sort of put them in decades of each other, so that right. way you can so, see every range. Okay. Here you go. So you, you're just touching the... Yeah, so if you check out what, he's, what he has reading on his... So you're touching the capacitor, and you are getting... Once he gets a contact. I'm getting a contact? You're, you're a little far... There you go. You should... I've got no cap on there. Way. Hold on. There. You, oh, there it was. Yeah. yeah it's, maybe, it's, maybe, it's, maybe you can stick them in the. Why don't you just hold it that way for right now? Yeah. There you go. So. Got to maintain contact. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So it was uh, about 800 and. Or there we go. 200 picofarads. It's, it's, actually, it's actually 188 picofarads. Uh -huh. can, you, can you see that now? Yeah. There. There it was. So. Just reading 192, 200. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's fair enough. We can do one thing. We have got an extension for the ground. You can just clip it on the one end and then yeah. just touch using. Oh, another I see. That's what the reel is. There. Just leave it. Leave it yeah. Yeah. reeled up for now. Okay. So what else can you do here? So another like the last range uh, capacitance. What we can read is like uh, what we what I have right now is ten microfarad. Let's read ten microfarad. So this is auto ranging it. This yes, is auto ranging. Auto -ranging. Using uh, the analog DMOX like we were talking about earlier. So 9.3, okay. And I'm reading it upside down, but it's re it's designed yeah. so that the user would be user right gets it. The user, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. So we we've got a range in there. Maybe we could pick one in between. So it can like measure necessarily up to like 50 to 100 or like 150 microfarads. And so you you're auto ranging on capacitance, yes. resistance, voltage. voltage. 
What else? Uh, frequency. 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 Well. Oh, well. okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what's next here so on the flip stuff. chart? <laughs> next on the flip chart is resistance. resistance. All right. So um, changing mode to resistance. Yeah. So basically, we've got some decades of resistors set up here too. Maybe you can grab a really large one and then go small. Okay. So if you check it out on the screen. So what there, is what's the value of the resistance? This one is a, a one mega. One ohm mega. Ohm. And it's reading point nine eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Uh, which pull, one should I take? Pull a small yeah. one. Yeah, that's a random. That's a hundred. Hundred ohm. It's a hundred ohm. Okay. We can actually read down to like thirty ohms. Is it reading? Yeah. So it's reading read, ninety-four. If you, that, if you read that in the digital multimeter, it's actually I think ninety-seven. So it's not too far okay. off. Okay. Just lost contrast on the display, however. Oh, oh here. We might have. Oh, there we go. Might have bent one of the wires. It, it's, it is kind of a late night soldering job. <laughs> so, um, got it. There, yeah. there we go. It's yeah. actually, you know, it's, it's hard it's, to maintain that contact. Yeah, it's, it's, pro it's probably better to stick it in the yeah, board. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm, that's so why don't you stick it back in the board there yeah. and then, and and then, then stick, stick your the probes exact. into the end yeah. of the board. So if you put it on one end, then you so can get, get this. Get this guy. Functional one. Yeah. Here, then just I'll grab this end, and yeah. you grab that end. Yeah, grab it. Exactly. So the so, so you're gonna hook the you're gonna hook the ground onto that yeah, end. Yeah, and then just touch it. And then you just touch that end. Oh, and we'll go into resistance. Resistance. There we go. Put that in. Yep. That's much nicer. Yeah. 94 ohms, 93 ohms. Yeah, so that's, okay. that's the best idea. All right, so, okay, so the next now, now do that again now. We'll touch that while I'm looking at it okay. there. I see. So you got the ground on one side and you've got the you've got the ground. Okay. Connection probe yeah, on the other good. side. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Now we can like go make one yeah. ground on. All right, given up we're up at 7 minutes. Let's yeah. uh, move along here. Okay. okay. Uh, so now for diode testing, we can quickly do that. Yes. So yeah, well, we can just do one example for the others. Um, yeah. Let me set up. So right now it should be like, when we go for diode, it should read reverse bias because I'm connecting, um, I'm connecting it in the, uh, like I'm, co I'll be connecting probe to the anode, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. it should be like the same. It should not read anything. Yep, it's reverse cool. bias. Reverse bias okay. right now. And okay. then uh, when I reverse it, it will give me the forward voltage across the diode. That's 0.82. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not getting the display now. Actually, what's the, what's the problem with the display? It might be that we have Contrast. A, a weird connection. No, but it was somewhere. somewhere. Good, on the table. No, there should not be any problem with the yeah. display. Yeah, the contrast is the contrast really is going down, right? Why? Yeah. Well, let's let's just let's keep going with this. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, so let's, let's show the transistor test then too. And we got, then we got, uh, so you can test the connectivity in your circuit just by like connecting just, two things across. I see, just touch the, you yeah, just, just touch, touch the, the different ends of wire, like just right. connect it and you are letting okay, go. Yeah, the, so it the, like, okay. it's a good connection. Good, okay. And then switch it off. So one good thing is that when you're in different modes, this LED won't glow even if you touch like the connection. It's ju just that in the connectivity mode, it glows on. Okay. So, all right. Okay. Frequency? Uh, so that's uh, testing of voltage. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so. You have voltage source there. Yep. Let's just plug it in across this point. Yeah. Okay, so we'll tie this it's into gone. ground. And then tie this high here. You can just go ahead and make a contact. Or you can even touch the gator clip if you want. And so you're just pushing a so now you're you're bumping up the voltage and we're watching it rise. So right. it reads point nine two on the on the voltage source and it reads point nine two on the wrist. Yes. Okay, now one point six five and it okay. So it's within a percent or so. So this is basically a low voltage mode in which you can read up to like five volt and it gives you a warning like 
to uh, when you're at like 4.5 okay. so that the oh. user comes to jail. So right. I'll bump it up to about 4.5. Okay, there's so a warning. warning there. High voltage. There's so warning. Okay, that. so turn it up higher. Okay, so we need to switch. So that would be like, like okay. we are having a different proof for high voltage. Okay. So yeah. if you just plug that in. Okay, there you go. Ready? And then you have to change the mode to high. There we go. So if it's below five, it will give you like use low voltage mode. Mm -hmm. For more mm -hmm. accuracy. For more accuracy. Mm -hmm. So we're using a divider on that probe. Okay. That's basically it. So and then, then you can go on. Got it. Okay. Increase more. So now, now stop, stop right there for a minute now. You're sitting at 12.87 on here and 12.48 there. Yeah, so you're within, a, you're within a percent. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Great. cool. Yeah. And the next mode is frequency mode. So we have a function generator over there. So, so it's, set to, it's set to 99 hertz right now. Yes. And you're just going to connect across the... It's going to directly... I'm just going to connect to to the thumb here. Oh yeah, go which on. is the ground. Is it? <laughs> Can you grab it? Yeah. There we yeah. Go. Great. And then our connect to your logic probe level there. probe, and we're reading 99.26 hertz. So you reading? If you can make it like perfect hundred. Yeah, let me make it a perfect That's hundred. Great. So so you also see we've got um, the duty cycle. Yeah, we've got the duty cycle and the timing pulse and width. the pulse width. Uh huh. Okay. So um, so let's make it a perfect. The the, the right-hand one is slow tune. That's fine, right one. Yeah. Of course. There we go. Well, that's, so this is a little behind. You know, I, I'm probably better to look on this. It's This actually updates faster than the right. display up there. Okay, you're getting, you're reading 100. Almost 100, 100. yes. 100.6 on the wrist, and you're reading 100 up there. Okay, very good. Okay, so we can, we can go, like we can go up, so this auto ranges. I'm going to go all the way up to 10 kilohertz. And it's, and it's yeah. still and it good. Go, and it goes even more. It goes... <laughs> so how high can you read? You're, so you're reading up to 50 kilohertz anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That, that's, it, it gets to about, gets about 30, 35 kilohertz, and then it... Yeah, then because you can see the change 45. in duty cycle. It's yeah, like stuff I see. So, it's start, so it's start, you're starting to get to the limits Four of the timer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's about how that's going. Okay. Okay, cool. So so the... the it, I mean, this sort of looks like it, in, a, in, a, in another incarnation, could be a product, right? It could be yeah, a... That's, that's yes. Something that you slip on fairly compactly. Yeah, 